Hey, how's it going out there, folks? Welcome back here to a Wednesday. It is the Earth Master out here about uh, 3.49 p.m. California time with a quick update here on uh, Iceland erupting once again here in a beautiful, spectacular fashion as always. Uh, some beautiful fountaining being observed here uh, from the website live from Iceland.is. Looks like... Uh, Looks like uh, some of these webcams may be offline, though, here. Normally, there's a uh, much uh, broader uh, view of the eruption, but uh, looks like uh, he's maybe under, maybe doing some maintenance out there. So uh, I was just looking at this earlier here. Their latest update shows that, uh, based on the latest data, it must be considered unlikely that it will erupt in November. Well, that aged uh, not so good, right? So this was just put out here yesterday. Today, we have an eruption going on. Um, so this just popped here in the last uh, 30 minutes or so. It is between the store Stagafell area and Slingerfell. Uh, it happened there at 1114 local time. So we're looking at, what, about 35 minutes or so ago. And... Uh, roughly in the same area as what we had seen before now if we look at the uh, let me pull up the latest earthquake map here there was a little bit of earthquake activity happening in this region as well um, earlier today which could be an indicator there of uh, some magma moving around and obviously it was just a uh, to an abrasion it was in a breaking point that's where this earthquake activity is taking place there uh, if we pull up the Oh my gosh, it's just one of those days, folks. Um, all magnitudes here, even the small microquake range, we can see that area of interest where the uh, current ongoing eruption is taking place there outside of Slingerfell and uh, well north of Grindavik. That's, that's definitely a good uh, thing. But uh, this area has seen quite a bit of eruption activity here recently, and uh, that's where we're seeing our latest one. Uh, following, oh, when was the last one? Back in August, I think. These are not very good clarity here. I, I can barely see those, so I'm not for sure what's going on. Looks like they uploaded those in a uh, um, in poor quality. Uh, so anyway, yeah, looks rather interesting here. The there's many different sites you can check out here for the uh, Iceland activity life from iceland.is is just one of them uh there's also um a couple different ones here on fire and ice fire and iceland.com is the site they have quite a bit of uh webcam imagery as well if you want to check out the uh, latest uh video there let me pull that one back up here so live from Iceland.is. Yeah, this is missing some uh, webcams out here. Not for sure why, but it uh, looks a little bit different than what it did last time. It's been a couple months since I've checked this, but um, there it is. Beautiful, though. Absolutely beautiful and stunning fountaining going on here after a couple months of buildup. Uh, I knew it was getting close here. I don't know if we reached the uh, measurement of... The previous level that was observed in terms of inflation but uh, uh, nonetheless here we are with an eruption going on here across the northern area around the store Stagafell area um, northeast of Hagafels is the latest information there on that eruption uh, the rest of the globe out here as far as earthquake activity goes uh, not a whole lot um, one thing I did notice I got to go back here to the earthquake uh, page and show you guys prior to the eruption we had some movement down here across the rift boundary uh, it seems as though that may have stirred things up further upstream here across that rift zone a lot of times we'll see that sequence of events happen uh, before any eruption and uh, it looks like uh, it didn't take long for the eruption to kick back up following the the uh, further movement further escalation downstream there uh, we're dealing with a lot of a lot of uh, precipitation out here right now, folks, in the uh, Northern California area. I want to show you guys that real quick. 
a massive low pressure sensor just off the uh, uh, Vancouver Island range there uh, satellite view pull this up still looks like a beautiful Cinnabon there mid latitude uh, cyclone here's the atmospheric river down here tapping into a lot of moisture moving right into northern California we got uh, quite a bit of rain falling right now I picked up just about two inches of rainfall here uh, outside of Chico and uh, we're still expecting another three to four inches here over the next couple days so it's gonna be a wet one starting to get a little flooding out here already around my neck of the woods so we're just dealing with it we still have power uh, aside from that folks we'll cover uh, everything else in the uh, update later tonight just wanted to uh, put out there real quick that Iceland has resumed its eruption out there across the area northeast of the Grindavik region which sits down here so uh, it's good to see the activity away from that region focused uh, up here across the northeastern area of that uh, of that very active region all right we'll catch you guys back out here a little bit later on this evening folks stay safe